Springtime is the time when it's berry picking season at local farms and all over Middle Tennessee you've got a great opportunity to go out with your family and spend the day picking fresh berries straight off the vine that you can take home and enjoy with your family. It's one of Mary Hans's favorite things to do. It's a great mischief opportunity and that's what we're doing today. Well it's an experience and you know the, der the berries are cheaper if you pick them yourself and we're at Delvin Farms where they have five acres of berries that people can come out and pick their own. They'll have berries for the next probably two or three weeks uh, and later in the season they'll have some blackberries but these strawberries are beautiful as you can see. They really are and they're so much fun to pick too. Well they're fun to pick and I think it's a great experience for kids to come out and see where their food comes from and they really do encourage sampling along the way so I, I don't mind doing a little bit of that too. Yeah we've already sampled some <laughs> and they are so juicy and delicious. This is an organic farm. You don't find all of them that all around Middle Tennessee that are organic but this is certified organic so you know you're getting really great produce. Right and the other thing about Delvin is that they have uh, they have a CSA program so they have 50 acres of organic vegetables being grown and they have a farm store where people can come and buy that directly or they can sign up for one of the CSAs. So it's, it's a great way for people to get all sorts of organic vegetables, um, fresh, fresh, fresh. We got some tips from the expert Hank Delvin on how to pick the perfect strawberry at just the right time and there really is an art to it. It is and I mean you can see that this one is perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean it's, it's just it's glistening, it's red and one surefire way to tell is by tasting it. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. This one has a really mm. glossy uh, dark red color all around. If it's too dark, he says it's great for strawberry wine, but maybe <laughs> not as good for picking. If you get one that looks like this, this will be ready in two or three days. It's still got some green and white on the end of it, so leave that for the next person. Um, don't pick that one, but somebody else will enjoy it in a couple of days when it's fully ripe. Well, the other thing that Hank told us was that after you pick your berries, when you take them home, uh, that it is best to refrigerate them. Um, and don't wash them until you're ready to eat them. So, I mean, okay. a lot of people make the mistake of going home and washing them all and putting, then putting them in the refrigerator, but that's not the best thing to do. But to keep them the longest and make them useful, you know, in days to come, refrigerate them. Good to know. All right, what do we need to know before we come? Well, I would always, you know, there are a lot of these Middle Tennessee farms, this one in Kelly's and Beatty's, and there are a lot of them, but I would always call or check their website before you, you know, load up the car with the kids because, you know, they may be, oh, they may be, picked out, they may have a closed day, uh, but make sure they're open and that the, you know the hours for the picking. Um, also, I think people need to bring with them some, um, put on some sunscreen, you can see it's uh, sunny out here, you've got your hat. Um, I think you might need bug spray. Um, I bring a water with me. Um, you know, I just think you, you wear sensible shoes. It, it's so nice and dry in here now, but we have been when it's been really muddy. So. Yeah. You just need to kind of watch the weather on it. Yeah, and you may want to stop by the farm store on the way uh, out as well. Obviously, you're going to pay for your berries, but they've got some great treats in there, too, that you may want to load up on well, as you leave. It's, it's great shopping for it's all sorts of vegetables in there. And, you know, the kids seem to, they didn't seem to so interested in the vegetables, but when they saw the popsicles, there they went. <laughs> Definitely. I think I could do with a popsicle, too. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. All right, Delvin Farms, great place to visit. Thanks so much for bringing us out, Mary. Thanks. Stay cheap.